Hey y'all, Gregor here with a brand new snap deck guide. We got a couple of lists from Pulse Glazer, or as more people know him, Snap Judgments. We had some really, really cool lists this week. We got a bounce list from Crazy. We got an evolved list from Derek. We got a double up list from Woody. And then we ended up getting a pretty cool counter list uh, that was kind of an affliction style deck, but with some very, very strong counters, including luke cage i ended up liking that list the most i actually ended up renaming the list mono blue because it, mono blue is a counter deck within magic the gathering so i thought it was fitting if you guys like the video please remember to like subscribe comment do all the things so the video gets pushed out to more people we have some really really exciting news i did just hit so i am officially a youtube partner we are at the point where we can get supers and we can also get people who can do paid subscriptions which is really really awesome we're at over three thousand watch hours we just need to get another thousand watch hours and then we can get ad revenue yay which i definitely think we'll hit by the end of the year so guys thank you for watching thank you for engaging really do appreciate it let's get into the deck and get into it so the two cards that really make this a counter deck are best boy best doggo in the game cosmo cosmo coming in very very clutch in this list i would also say luke cage as well luke cage is very very strong in this list allowing us to get all of those affliction cards out without getting any of the cost reduction from said affliction the other card super giant this is one of the reasons i chose this list is i believe that super giant is a very slept on card it is underutilized within this game super giant is so so good i love super giant i will scream from the mountaintops how much i love super giant so i really really like this list i like super giant in this list and then the other card that was winning us games was ajax as well as copycat at least while copycat has the steal ability still until the next ota when they fix it and it will be changed back to a copy so i will be providing sub options as well as other cards what cards are basically required and what you can play instead so give it a go let me know what you think i hope you enjoy the deck guide so like i said i decided to name this deck mono blue because magic the gathering this deck runs silver sable hydra bob hazmat white widow u.s agent sage cosmo luke cage copy cat super giant man thing and ajax so if you don't have if you don't have silver sable or you don't have hydra bob you could do nightcrawler instead of hydra bob instead of Sil silver sable i would recommend something like nico minoru so you could do either of those you could go with this guy here or you could go with nico both are good sub options either of those will work will work also you could do nebula those would be the three that i would choose in the one drop position if you're missing white widow or u.s agent i would probably switch with either kate bishop or the other two drop option would be jeff i do think that hazmat is a hard requirement in this deck you do need hazmat to make it work you definitely have to have hazmat in here now looking at the other cards at our three drops we have sage cosmo luke cage and copycat so if you don't have sage we i always say this if you're looking for a sub option for sage i say just go with diet sage which is wolf spain kind of the same thing or any of the other really great three drops like you could put in red guardian if you want Another really solid three cost option. You could do Nocturne, like really just put in your favorite three drop of your choice. For cards that I would say are kind of needed, you could do the same with Copycat if you don't have Copycat. So do any of that. You could even put in Gladiator if you want. So you have lots of options. Luke Cage, I will say, is needed in this deck. Cosmo is needed in this deck. So for our four drops, we have Super Giant and Man Thing. If you don't have Super Giant, I would go with, instead of Super Giant, you could go with Symbiote Spider-Man. I have another deck that's kind of similar to this. Symbiote Spider-Man is used to hit cards. You could use it with Symbiote Spider-Man cards you would try to hit would be Hazmat, White Widow, and Sage. Those would be the three that you would try to target if you could. So you could get them to go off again. For Man-Thing, if you don't have Man-Thing, I would go with either Gwenpool or Iron Lad. If you need a sub option, you could go with Gwenpool or you could go with Iron Lad. Both could be good sub options. And then for the last card, I say this is probably a hard requirement for this deck. Our boy Ajax. I think you just need Ajax in this list. This deck is built around it. You need the hazmat Ajax combo really to get those wins. I don't think there's really a sub option for Ajax. I think you just need this card. That's the, the deck itself. Let's go over the actual 
play lines for the deck. Mono blue, what you want to do is on turn one, you want to Silver Sable or Hydra Bob if you can. On two, you're either going to drop White Widow or US Agent. You're going to save Hazmat if you can. On turn three, you're either going to, your best bet would be to copycat. Cosmo, you usually want to wait to, to see what your opponent's playing. If they're playing something like Destroy and they're building that lane, put the Cosmo down before. Take priority, put the Cosmo down and snap on that because that's basically a win right there. But ones you want to hold on to for sure would be Sage and Cosmo. Those are the two that you kind of want to hold on to the end. You can be kind of picky with Luke Cage. If you do put Luke Cage out, I would say this. Put Luke Cage with a smaller card. That way he can't be Red Guardian. Really, you just have to look out for Rogue and Enchantress. So the ones that you are going to try to prioritize if you can, Copycat and Cosmo, I would try to put down first. I don't know. Either, okay, so Copycat first for sure. And then it would be Luke Cage, then Cosmo and Sage. But you, again, it's depending on what your opponent's running. So turn four, you Super Giant. The reason that you Super Giant is so you can hide Ajax or you could also do Super Giant into like Luke Cage Hazmat. So you have that at the very end of the game, which is huge for you. Or you could do Man Thing, Hydra Bob. There's just a lot of different things that you can hide behind that super giant play. So there's a lot of things that you can work on curve with, but you want to best place to try to keep Ajax hidden. And then on last turn, you drop the Hazmat. Just a lot of different options. I was doing, it did pretty well. Like I got more wins than losses with this deck. So I think I got like a 56% win rate with it. It's very fun all together. I love any deck that runs Man Thing and Super Giant in it. Also my beloved Hazmat. Matt. Just very fun. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. Really, Super Giant is one of my favorite cards. Like a seriously slept on card. So is Man Thing. We are also doing the Hazmat Ajax thing with this list. Don't feel like you have to. You guys being here is always more than enough. Man Thing is my boy. Man Thing is my child. I mean, Astro M is going to move it regardless. Go with your favorite cards. Uh, so, Jeff is my child, Man-Thing is my child, Howard the Duck is my child, and James is my child. All go- ongoing? Yes. Okay, we're gonna be toxic. We're being toxic on two. Mm. That's fine. Once you win one lane, like, half of the battle is already done. Like... We're good. You got the spotlight, Howard? Dude, I'm jealous. I wanted that variant so bad. Also, we can hazmat into cause. Wait, who did we hit with copycat? We hit their blade, so we don't want to do that. Drac is not an on reveal. So really what we would want, Man-Thing basically hits all of those cards. Man-Thing Hydra Bob is probably the play. Hopefully. I think that's the play we have to do. I think they still win because of Apocalypse. I am Apocalypse. Swarm said otherwise. Swarm said no. Like, if it's, it's something that would bring me $100 worth of joy, that's worth it. But $100 worth of joy is a lot. That's not a little amount of money. I like what we have with the cloning bats. We're going to be super toxic. Gregor, toxic, unheard of. Right, you have to know it's a $100 variant. White Widow here. White Widow for day. We don't even care about the Castle Blackstone. We're going to keep playing Silver Sable. We're also going to go White Widow and keep White Widowing. I don't know. I feel like we kind of have to snap on this because we do White Widow, Silver Sable. Because I'm, I'm just going to keep doing it. And the thing is, Silver Sable keeps the stats. Would you pay 50 bucks for your man thing if it was a bundle with other stuff? If it was a good bundle. If it had a good amount of resources. Like, I've had people in my community buy me a $100 bundle before. Uh, like, th there's really, really nice ones that it keeps going. It's if the resources was there, right? Farm sage and vats, 100%. We are on the same page here. We're going to go bam, bam, bam. Another one. The sage. 
damage value is insane here. Well, see what we do now. Like, it's over, right? Cosmo here, Luke Cage here, and then we are able to do a combo with Hazmat into Sage. I've already snapped. I can't snap anymore. Like... Okay, you got a big vision. Cool. I got bad news for you, though. We hit their Athena. I mean, that might not be bad because we're going to only do two plays. I think Hazmat's a better play. Hazmat, Sage. I don't think they're going to be able to win every lane. Because Hazmat. Sage. Yeah. No, that, that's every lane. Victory. That's absolutely wild. That is a clip that is going to be on, on TikTok, probably. Yo, Chuck, welcome on in. Y'all, thank you for the likes on the TikTok Live. Thank you for the follows. Thank you for sharing the TikTok Live. Just always good vibes here. And I really do appreciate it. I like that anytime I look, like, I legitimately look forward to streaming. I look forward to chatting with y'all. Um, and whenever I get a chance to just hang and it's good vibes it's just so appreciated you can't steal your neighbor's cats that is frowned upon i have learned people get very upset about that it's like a reverse pokemon system where cat chooses the exactly they're like you're mine now human yeah i think that's a very solid play oh, snap. boom and cosmo which is why we love cosmo that is unfortunate they are now clogged man thing here we still have Luke Cage available. I don't think they have anything they can send over with Space Throne. <laughs> Wait, you did? Just is this you? Set, Bob. If this is you, that's hilarious. Oh, it's a Tuma! We got a Tuma, y'all. Well, they don't have a Tuma then. We got Luke Cage, Hydra Bob here. Well, we've already snapped. So Hydra Bob is more of a risk than anything, but I think we win with just Sage. Oh, was that you? Lol, that's really funny. I took the throne. I definitely need to change my underwear. Atuma Matata. We still win that side. Uh, Hazmat, Sage, thank you for playing. That's game. I don't think they've done enough to where they can get death for anything. They can either death or null. Yeah. Victory. I really, really enjoy New Atuma. That's good for them. That scares me a little bit, if I'm being completely honest. If they got Deadpool and Death's Domain, I think we Luke Cage here. We hold on to the Cosmo. We're going to Super Giant on four. Like... I said, I've been really enjoying the new Atuma. What a game! So this is, this is where you get the value from Ajax. So you hide Ajax behind Supergiant. We'll see where they end up playing. This messes up their curve as well. I definitely need to change my underwear. So I play Ajax on five. I also keep Pryo so I can Cosmo. And we got their Killmonger. So let's do Ajax here. Even if Ajax doesn't get any buff, I still think we win. So let's see where they're going to end up playing. I think they try to play right. Ooh, they went left. Very intriguing. I still think I go... I kind of want to Cosmo right. Everybody's saying Cosmo left? Fine. Fine. What we could do is we could Hydra Bob snap into Death's Domain. All right. Okay. Okay. We're not going to do the Hydra Bob. You're right. You guys are smart. So I don't get shadow banned. By one point, what do they got? Ajax. Baby Null. We win. Victory. I can do either. Honestly, Hydra Bob into Krakoa is good. Anymore. They got Nico. Boom. You can see the deck right now. What? Did we just 
become best friends. Yep. Yo, thank you for the follow. You can see the deck. You can literally screenshot it. We're only on this. Super Giant's too early. So I think we go Cosmo. Or we do... Let's do Ajax this turn. They, they're going to move the Hydra Bob. Yo, Entero. Can we get a shout out for Entero Bang? I have no idea why Ajax is 12 power right now. Oh, because Hydra Bob moved his power onto the top of him. That's why. Because of Krakoa. So we top deck the Ajax. So we get on top of that. Y'all are saying Cosmo left. Good call. I see it. Yeah, they got greedy with it. Okay. You guys are right. As you often are. Oh, super giant into. We're going to go mid. So there's a good chance that we get Luke Cage. Yeah. So we could do all of them. White Widow, Hazmat, Silver Sable. We're really hoping to top deck the Luke Cage. Yes! Oh, that is the top deck I wanted, baby. That is what I was hoping for. Beautiful. Yes. Sage is interesting, though. Not gonna lie. Hazmat, come and clutch, please. We're winning right. Victory. Let's go, y'all. Because we have the Luke Cage in hand. For sure. It's up there. It's, like, really, really good. White Widow on cloning vats is just value for us. Hi, Jeff. Army of vets, you, of Jeffs, you say? And we got their Nemora? Uh-oh. They're in trouble then. Because it's just good on curve. Like, that's unfortunate for them. And then the copycat gives the other copycat. And then on this one, we can do White Widow Hazmat. Oh, snap. Or we could just go with Man Thing. I'm going to go with Man Thing. It's a little bit less greedy. But they're playing a lot of one cost cards, so I think we get value out of that regardless. We can do that next turn. We can do White Widow into. Or if we get Cosmo, no Cosmo yet. Uh, so what I think we do is we do. Luke Cage, White Widow, right? Luke Cage, White Widow is the play here. Boom, they're basically clogged. Wakanda forever. Cool. They're clogged there. Wakanda forever. Lovely for you. Hazmat, then Cosmo, then Hydra Bob. Boom. No, Cosmo, clutch. Odin does nothing Are here. You worthy? Victory. We're good. See, we got it. That's a four cuber. So I'm gonna silver sable into White Widow on Vormir. I feel like that's where the value is because they get hit with the White Widow's Kiss. Ooh, that's rough, though. If they snap, I'm gone. Once you lose one location, it's very difficult to... Like, you're already at a disadvantage. Well, it turns out that I am kind of a math person. This game has made me realize that I do like math when it's a game. I don't like math in school, but if they had made it into a game like they have here, I like it. Does that make sense? I wish that in school there were more things that made math fun, because this makes math fun. Dude, if I was taught with strategy card games, I would love it.
literally the card I was hoping that we would hit. Ajax hide here, and then we hazmat Sage last turn. Let's go hazmat, Sage, Hydra Bob, call it a day. Definitely a choice. What are, what are they going to do? What is their last play? Let's go. Oh, Hydra. Look at these two. Victory. Beautiful. We stopped the Sage. And they're not beating 118, even with the location. Or you could do Symbiote into White Widow. I think Cassandra Nova will work in this as a three cost slot. If you don't have Sage, you could do Cassandra Nova. I would probably say go Nico Minoru. We have Luke Cage in, in hand, so I don't see a reason not to do Hazmat. But Silver Sable just keeps buffing. Okay, we don't have to play perfectly on Curve. Yep. Cast is definitely Affliction. And she just keeps growing. Which I am okay with. It's our last location. Ooh. Nomura, you say? We got Nomura in here. I wish we were on four so I could do more. We're going to just do this into Sage because these are all going to be different powers. Yeah, plus two for each different power. So I think Hazmat, Silver Sable. I'm trusting that Lucades is good. We're going to get the Lucades. Heart of the cards, right? I'm gonna Cosmo here. We also have the Nomura available. I could do Hydra Bob, snap. We're on the same page. Oh, did that ruin your Galactus play? Victory. Because you were gonna play Galactus, right? That was gonna be Galactus over here. Um, White Widow, great target for Symbiote Spider-Man. People are just doing these big, greedy plays. Breaking news. Howard the Duck Gaming. In 2024, I like the White Widow here. You think this is a Spectrum list? Could be. Or it could be Tribunal. Those are the two that I think of. And the fact that they armor there, it's probably Jean Grey, right? I'm a big fan of Howard the Duck. So let's super giant. Super giant here. I don't even really care about this location at this point. I think we're going to win it regardless. Cosmo, Cosmo, Cosmo. Okay, Hazmat. So this is where we get to hide something. My boy, my child. So we're going to save Cosmo for last turn. Also, very snappable. So the things we're going to hide are going to be Hazmat, Luke Cage. And then we're gonna Cosmo. Beautiful, no notes. And then we do that. And then we do, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, y'all are smart. Robitussin is a Howard gamer? Yes, Robo is a Howard believer. Sabu, Iron Lad, it's Odin. Are ye worthy? Zabu pops off again, but it's last turn. Yeah, that was very scary. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to give everybody a heart attack here. If I could give this dog head rub, Victory. I would right now. Dude, Cosmo is becoming my favorite card this season. Good freaking dog. That is a good dog right there. Why does it always do that? Like after long streams, it works in the beginning. But trigger fire like disconnects. White Widow here and turn. I will give you some bad streaming advice as well. I think we go Cosmo. We have Pryo here. I think we go Cosmo mid. Hydra Bob, it's okay. We will work with Dwayne The Rock Johnson here. 
We gotta do Silver Sable Luke Cage here. This is where the Shadow King will come in clutch, though. Oh, we Sasquatching. Don't even care that they get the card draw here. Because I can do Sable left. I think there's enough that we would win with that. We go Sage. We do Sage. We do US Agent. And we could, that's the move right there. But they get hit. They're going to be... Okay, if they're going for Scar play, they lose the Scar line there. We're at 18 with that. Anything they put here kind of hurts them. And because we have the man thing, we do man thing here. And we call it a day, right? They could do Mockingbird. I think that's our best play line right here. <laughs> nah, we got him. We got him. Made the difference. Victory. Oh, Luke Cage, man thing, US agent, same lane, coming in strong there. Did you undo the bad streaming revise? I'm really sorry, my brain. Panda, you still want your bad streaming advice? Opponent snapped. Love the confidence. <laughs> so Panda, if you're still here, your bad streaming advice is this. Only make content on one platform. Only make your content on Twitch. Don't put it anywhere else. If they're real fans, they'll find it. I'm thinking we do Hazmat, Hydra Bob, because we have another one, right? Boom. If they want to find it, they'll find it. Yeah. Yo, Master Puppet, welcome back. How was your nap? Also, y'all, help me with lunch. And what should I do for lunch? We can do White Widow, Luke Cage. Boom. Modoc. I had an everything seasoning salad. Yum. I did. Oh, I, I do. Master Puppet, I do love sushi. Sushi is one of my safe foods. So they're at 19 over there. I could do Hazmat Sage right side. And all of those are different stats. Let's give that a shot. I think that's the play, right? Let's go. One point, y'all. Oh. Victory. Dude. Dude, I start making misplays sometimes. I'm gonna try and lock in. Gregor is learning here. We're gonna do, okay, so this is the play I'm thinking. We're gonna do copycat into White Widow because we hit their Wong. Actually, that changes how we're gonna do it. We're gonna copycat here. Magic. This is looking pretty solid for us. Give me another two cost. Yes. I'll hold off. We know that they're doing something with Wong shenanigans. Yeah, we're waiting on hazmat. Negative. Okay. I can Sable. I'm going to Super Giant. I'm going to Sable. Is Sable worth doing on this? Not really, no. Sage is the only other good hit that we get. Maybe we leave it open so we can hazmat and Sage. So I'll just Hydra Bob. That could be very bad for us. Give me Sage. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking, y'all. I'm thinking we do Hazmat, Sage, Silver Sable. Because I think we just win that lane. And then we have Luke Cage, Man Thing we can do last turn. I'd rather shut down whatever they're going to do here, right? I don't know. We could, we could do this and this. I guess we could do Man Thing. That's the play I'm going with. I am Iron Man. Love that for you. Face the might of Asgard. Okay, we blocked the Mystique Iron Man play. We win. We absolutely win. I didn't like that at all. That was very scary. 
No, it's not the best, but I don't want to give up US Agent. We don't know what they're playing yet. Now, why Widow into Tarnax is good for us, but I think I wait because I could do US Agent White Widow next turn. So they're probably playing Darkhawk, right? US Agent here, White Widow here. Just good value for us. And if they put any of their big ones there, they're in trouble. Freeze Abu too. Hit their Mystique, so definitely a Dark Hawk list. So out of the stuff, so I think I go with Hazmat, Super Giant here. Super Giant is still on reveal. Actually, you know what? Guarantee, let's go there, there. Turn order is important here. Boom. For some reason, my redeems aren't working right now. Trigger fire is being not cooperative. But we got Ajax here. We go Ajax, and then we put the rock here. We know that they could do Mystique, but I don't think they win every lane. I guess they could Mystique mid. But if they Mystique, we'll see how this goes. I think we have enough of a lead here. I do want to keep Hydra Bob here. We'll see if they... Ooh, okay. Kind of worrisome. Let's see how this goes. Ajax... 42 power on that side. Deadpool. They might, they probably have us. This is a three. Hazmat. Why though? Do they have Luke Cage too? Hey man, I'm Cook. Why though? But why? Victory. But why though? Also, just wanted to plug that we have set up a community Kofi link. So if you would like to support the community to help with giveaways and also like upcoming events and things like that, you could do so starting as little as $1 a month or $10 memberships. You get your name credited as a supporter on all of my upcoming YouTube videos. $25 a month, you are free to ask me any questions about deck building or anything else about Snap. $50 per month, I will do, you get two one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions with me an hour long and it is subject to my availability, but you're just helping the community so we can do more giveaways and cool things like that. Thank you all for watching. If you made it to the end, I super appreciate it. We just need to get like a thousand more watch hours and then we can get that sweet, sweet ad revenue, which is awesome. I can't believe we're this close with it. But yeah, thank you for watching. Let me know what you thought of the, the deck guide, what you thought of the video. If uh, you have any feedback, if any uh, things I can make better for you, let me know. Also, if I don't see you the rest of the week, I'm gonna, well, listen, I'm gonna get a video out. I already have a tips and tricks guide coming up that uh, basically it's already all recorded and I already have a thumbnail and everything. So that will be coming. I will also be streaming on Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday, 4 to 8 p.m. as usual. But, like, if I don't see you for the rest of the week, please remember to take care of yourself. Please remember to eat food, drink water, take your meds, and, uh, yeah, just remember to take care of yourself. I appreciate y'all watching.